Are you tired of juggling multiple investing platforms and spreadsheets to track your investment portfolio? What if there was a tool that could do it all for you automatically? In this video, I'm going to show you how ShareSite simplifies investment tracking, saves you time at tax season, and helps you make smarter investing decisions. Make sure to stay right till the end as I have a code that will give you four free months of ShareSite access. ShareSite is an all-in-one investment tracking tool that covers everything from shares and ETFs to cryptocurrencies, precious metals like gold and silver, and even investment properties. They cover over 50 global stock exchanges, 200 global brokers to automatically load trades, and over half a million investments including stocks, ETFs, crypto, and even managed fund investments. ShareSite is super easy to use and it gives you a better feel for how your investments are performing. They break down your returns by capital gains, dividends, currency fluctuations, and those annoying brokerage fees. They bring all of your investments into one place so you can drop the spreadsheets and manual intervention. Let ShareSite do all of the heavy lifting to automatically load your trades directly from your broker. I've been using ShareSite for a few years now and they have saved me literally hours of tedious work. Previously, I had to go to all of my brokerage accounts, download a CSV of my trade history, import this into Google Sheets, manually format and write complicated formulas, and even then, ShareSite wins every time for speed, accuracy of returns, and I can track through their app as well. With over 400,000 users from all over the world, I'm not alone in saying this. So first things first, signing up. ShareSite offers a free version, which allows you to load up to 10 investment holdings. Most investors, however, have more than 10 investments, and ShareSite offers advanced options, which not only allow you to load more, but also offer much more value through their awesome performance and tax reports, which we'll get into later. Down below in the video description and pinned comments, I'll include a link to get four months free when you opt for an annual plan. Once you are signed up, it's time to add your investments. There are three ways to do this. Manual entry, CSV upload, or importing directly from your broker. Broker uploads are by far the easiest option, and here you can see all of the top brokers listed. There are currently 216 supported brokers, and they are all listed here in alphabetical order. To name just a few, Australia has Comsec, Perla, Moomoo, and Superhero. The UK has Hargreaves Lansdowne, Trading212, and eToro. Kiwis have Sharesies, ASB, and Hatch, and the Americans have Interactive Brokers and Robinhood. Even in the crypto space are Coinbase, Coinspot, Revolut, and Easy Crypto. To upload your trades from a broker, click on their logo, and ShareSite will give you instructions. There are a few ways this works. Some brokers, like Sharesies here in New Zealand, directly connect to ShareSite to bring your trades through automatically. That's the easiest option. Others, like ASB, allow you to upload a CSV file with all of your trades. They give straightforward instructions here on how to do this for every single broker. And finally, you can also semi-automate the process by forwarding your buy and sell trade confirmations with ShareSite. By giving your broker this URL that you can see here on the screen, your broker will send an email for every buy and sell trade to ShareSite, and they'll automatically load your trades this way. So that is the broker uploads. The second option you have is a self-managed CSV. ShareSite gives you a template you can complete with all of your trades, which allows you to fill in the details, upload, and have your trades load on their website. If your broker wasn't on the list that we saw earlier, this is the quickest way to upload your trades. Our third option allows you to manually key these in by loading each trade's ticker, quantity, price, and brokerage fees. Many of you might have cryptocurrency investments that aren't on a broker, but they're in hard storage, something like a Ledger Nano. You can track those in ShareSite as well, but you'll need to either load these trades in manually or use the self-managed CSV option to make sure they're captured. Once everything is set up, you can get a bird's eye view of your entire portfolio. It doesn't matter if they're coming in from various brokers or sources, they're all sitting here side by side. Here is an example portfolio I whipped up earlier. As you can see, I have a current portfolio value of about $150,000, and my portfolio returns are broken down by capital gains, dividends, and currency fluctuations. We can change this view as well to see a specific time period. For example, if I just wanted to see how my portfolio has changed over the past week, I can do that here. And as you can see, my test portfolio has done pretty well, especially so on the 12th of September. You can also change the chart type here to see a line chart, depending on your personal preference. Below the chart, we have the option to add a benchmark. This is useful to show how well your portfolio has performed relative to an index. 
Generally, investors would use something like the S&P 500 or the ASX 200 in the case of Australia. You can find these in the drop-down, but you can also search for any investment such as F100 for the UK's FTSE 100 or even Bitcoin for the crypto investors. Selecting the FTSE 100, you can see our portfolio has outperformed the FTSE. Below the chart, we have everything in our investment portfolio listed out in great detail. You can see mine here is grouped by investment type with crypto ADR. ETFs and stocks separated out. We can change this above using the drop down with several options available. If we scroll back down and click into one of our investments, let's say Apple, we get a comprehensive view of our investment. I'll just scroll down here so you can see what you get on this screen. Over in the trades and income tab, we can see each of our trades in Apple in great detail. If we scroll down, we can see the dividend history as well. ShareSite tracks dividends automatically by pulling the data directly from the stock exchange. We just need to confirm these amounts are correct each time, such as this one from August. If you're a part of a dividend reinvestment plan and you don't take it in cash, ShareSite can calculate the additional shares that you receive. You can also store notes and read the latest news on the investment at these tabs. That gives you a taste of what we see in the portfolio view. Let's take a look now at the reports. The plan you're on will determine what reports you have access to. First up, we have the performance reports with six options available. The performance report allows us to visualize our portfolio in several ways. This proportional area chart shows us the relative size of our investments with color coding for their returns over a specified time period. For example, most of this portfolio was invested in the NZX. As we can see, it went up just 4% over this time period as compared to the 38 to 152% returns we saw in the US and in crypto. The FNZ ETF was our largest holdings, but with a light green, it had very modest returns for the year. So we can get a lot from this view. The future income report is another favorite of mine, as I can see all of my upcoming dividends in one place. Companies announce their dividends in advance, and ShareSite keeps on top of this automatically without my input. Next, after performance, we have asset allocation reports. These two reports show me how my portfolio is composed. The exposure report can be useful to see how much stock we really own. For example, my portfolio has roughly $3,000 invested directly in main freight. However, if we look at the exposure report, it tells me I own actually $6,000 in main freight stock. Why could this be? My ETFs are also investing in main freight shares. So they take my investment in the ETF and apportion this to the size of their holding in main freight. So the FNZ fund accounts for another $3,000 in the stock. TNZ for about $80 and NZG for about $4. So if we really want to know the concentration risk of our portfolio, this is a useful report to run. The diversity report is similar, but it shows our portfolio's concentration risk by sector. Most funds are invested in ETFs, which don't have a sector as they're so diversified. But you can see a concentration in internet, software, medical, and banking stocks. Heading back to our final group of reports, those are for tax and compliance. I'm based in New Zealand, so I will only see the tax reports that are relevant to me. If you're based in other countries such as Australia, the UK or the US, you'll see the tax reports that are relevant to your country. For me, the taxable income report is one of the most important. When it comes time to complete a tax return, this report pulls all the dividend and interest details together. Overseas income can often be tricky due to the currency exchange, but ShareSite records the exchange rate on the day of the dividend to make this easier. New Zealanders are lucky to not have a capital gains tax. If you're outside of New Zealand, this can be annoying to calculate, and ShareSite has a report for that. Unfortunately, I can't show it, but for Australians, it can be very helpful, also allowing you to switch between first and first outs and other sale allocation methods. If you manage a trust, a company, or your own super fund, you can use the historical cost report to show your opening and closing balances at cost price. This is useful when you need to prepare the balance sheet. And finally, New Zealand investors will be very interested in the foreign income fund report. If you invest over $50,000 abroad, 
you need to report your foreign investment funds, also known as the FIF rules. ShareSite pulls all of your investments together in this calculator, and once you click Calculate, you get a report using both the fair dividend rate and the comparative value method. This saves a hell of a lot of time and money working with an accountant. ShareSite offers everything you need to track, analyze, and optimize your investment portfolio. If you are ready to streamline your investment tracking, check out my link down below in the video description and pinned comments to get four months free when you sign up to ShareSite's annual plan. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.